everybody and welcome to day eight of the two week yoga challenge. Today's class is going to be heart opening flow and as always we're going to start in a comfortable seat either sitting cross-legged or on your knees. Turn your palms to face up and gently close down the eyes. Start to breathe deeply in through the nose only. Maybe with the first round of breath let out a sigh with the exhale. Start to feel the body expand as you inhale and feel your sit bones grounded on the earth as you exhale. Allow the breath to flow evenly through the nose and out through the nose. When you're ready, drawing your hands together at heart center Call to mind an intention today for your practice. And then when you're ready, release your hands. And we're going to come into a kneeling position. So if kneeling is not comfortable in the ankles, you can just stay in a cross-legged position. Otherwise, coming up into kneeling, roll the shoulders back and down. And then we're going to interlace the hands behind the back, pressing the backs of the hands away from you and extending out through the chest. Gently tuck the chin, and maybe if you've got a little bit more space, you can start to lift up the hands, incorporating a shoulder stretch. Keep the breath in the belly, and then gently relax the arms, and we'll go the other way. This time we'll press the palms away, tuck the chin to the chest, and round the spine, sending the arms out. Keep the breath deep. And then inhale, release, roll the shoulders, and we'll go again. Interlace the fingers behind the back, press the backs of the hands away from you, tuck the chin to the chest. Gently release the arms, roll the shoulders, and come into the other side, pressing the hands away from you, tucking the chin, rounding the back. Again, keep breathing in through the nose. And then release the hands. We'll come down into all fours and we're going to come into melting heart pose. So take the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, and then reach the hands forward. Send the sit bones high and at the same time bring the chest down to the mat. We're going to be here for a few full deep breaths. So if you can take the chin to the mat, close the eyes. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And again, in your own breath, really filling up the belly with the inhale, emptying out completely with the exhale. You should be feeling a lovely stretch in the shoulders and perhaps in the top of the back. With your next inhale, start to press into the hands, come back into all fours. Take the hands again underneath the shoulders and just rock the, the body gently from side to side. I'm going to come into a couple rounds of cat cow. So inhale, look up towards the sky. Exhale, roll the spine, look towards the belly. So we're warming up the back here. Inhale, dip the spine, look up towards the sky. Exhale, roll the back, look towards the belly. So we're arching through the spine at the same time, sending the sit bones high. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold through. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back, look towards the belly. And again, inhale. Exhale. And then bring yourself back to a neutral spine. We're going to tuck the toes and send the hips back into a downward facing dog. Staying here in the downward facing dog for a few full breaths. Really feel the ribs expand as you inhale, press into the hands and at the same time send the sit bones high and encourage the heels down towards the mat. Keep breathing, a few more full breaths. And we're going to come up onto the toes and we're going to roll back into tabletop. Release the feet down onto the mat and then we'll look up into cow stretch. Exhale, roll the spine, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. We'll do that four more times. Roll into plank, drop the knees, untuck the toes, look up towards the sky, cow. Exhale, roll the back, 
Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Keep moving with your own breath as you exhale, drop the knees, look up towards the sky, cow pose. Exhale, roll the spine, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Keep moving just a few more. Use the breath as a guide. Move your body as fluidly and as mindfully as possible. And again, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Look forwards, inhale, bend the knees and then step the feet to the top of the mat. Just walk yourself to the top of the mat and then when you get there, just allow the body to hang heavy over the legs. Move the body from side to side. And then we're going to take the hands behind and we're going to press the palms away from us again. We're going to come into that really lovely shoulder stretch. So the palms are facing forwards. The backs of the hands are pressing away. Arms are strong. Neck and head is heavy. And the knees are bent as much as you need. Release the hands and vertebrae by vertebrae bring yourself up to standing. Once you get there, roll the shoulders. And then press the hands forward coming into Tadasana. Take an inhale, we're going to sweep up the arms. Exhale, fold through heart center, pressing the hands. Drop the hands onto the mat, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into a plank. For the first round, we'll just drop the knees, untuck the toes, and come into a low cobra. We're going to interlace the fingers again behind the back, same motion here, and start to peel the chest off the mat. So the backs of the hands are pressing away, really using the hands to lift off the body. The tops of the feet are staying on the mat. Keep the breath in the belly and then release back onto the mat. Bend the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forwards. Step or jump this time to the top of the mat, release the body over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, back straight. Exhale, fold forwards, and then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Press the hands through heart center, arms by your side, Tadasana. Again, inhale, sweep up the arms. Exhale, press through heart center, back straight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump this time into a plank. Maybe floating through a chaturanga or bending the knees. This time we'll come into upward facing dog or cobra. If you're an upward facing dog, just the tops of the feet and the hands are on the mat. Exhale, maybe bend the knees or roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto the toes, look forward, step, jump or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Press the palms through heart center. Arms by your side, Tadasana. And again, inhale, sweep up the arms. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, take a halfway lift, back straight, neck long. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump into plank. Float through a Chaturanga this time. Inhale, tuck the toes, look up, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll of the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Press the palms through heart center, arms by your side, Tadasana. And again, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, jump or float to the back of the mat. Fold through a Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, float forwards. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Press the palms through heart center. Arms by your side, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump into plank, float through a chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. Come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forwards. Step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. And inhale, sweep yourself all the way up. Press the palms through heart center. Arms by your side, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep up the arms. Exhale, fold through heart center. 
Inhale halfway lift and this time we're going to press the hands on the mat and we're going to step back the right foot. Take the hands on the mat, just find your balance and then sweep the arms up into a high lunge. Sink into the hips and then turn out into a warrior two. Take a moment here in warrior two, breathing in through the nose and just making sure that the knee, the front knee is aligned with the front ankle. Keep breathing. And then we're going to gently reverse the warrior. Take the gaze over that back foot and take the right hand behind the back. Inhale, come back to warrior two. And then we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back, open the chest and start to send the backs of the hands away from us again. Start to gently bend forwards, coming into a humble warrior, taking that left shoulder to the inside of the left thigh. Being careful to find your balance. And then when you're ready, gently releasing the left hand to the inside of the left foot, reaching up the right arm, looking up towards that top arm. Staying here or coming into a full bind by taking the left arm underneath the left thigh and catching that left hand with the right hand. Keep opening up through the chest if you're here and then step the hands back into that side bend if you've moved and then we'll float the hands to the mat turn out that back foot drop the knee and come into a low lunge interlace the fingers behind the back again we'll do that beautiful chest opening here opening up the heart space pressing the backs of the hands away you might need to adjust that foot slightly forwards if you want a deeper stretch release the hands to the mat untuck the back foot and step back into a plank float through a chaturanga Inhale to upward facing dog, exhale roll over the toes, downward facing dog, full breath and downward facing dog. Come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway lift, exhale fold forwards, inhale sweep the arms all the way up, press the palms together, arms by your side, step to the top of the mat, we'll come onto the other side, inhale sweep up the arms, Exhale, float through heart center. This time, step the left foot back. Inhale, halfway lift. Press the hands into the mat. Step the left foot back. Take your balance here. And then gently reach up the arms coming into that high lunge. For this round, we're going to stay here for a few full deep belly breaths. So just make sure that you're actively sending out the energy through that back heel. And then when you're ready, we're going to open up into a warrior two. And again, stay here, sinking into the hips, arms long. When you're ready, start to interlace the fingers behind the back. We're going to come into that chest open again, opening up the chest. Keep the knees bent. And just notice how the neck is feeling. Maybe you need to tuck the chin to the chest as you bring yourself down into a humble warrior. So this time the right shoulder is on the inside of the right thigh. Find your balance, keep the legs where they are, keep breathing. And again, we're gonna drop down into that side bend. So we're gonna take the right hand to the inside of the right foot, reach up the left arm. Stay here or go a little bit deeper by taking a bind. If you're in the bind, we're making this a heart opening bind. So we're opening up the shoulders. We're shining the heart towards the sky. Keep breathing through the nose. When you're ready, release that right hand back down to the mat. Reach up the left arm. Take the hands either side of that front foot. Untuck that back toe, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, sweep up the arms. High lunge. Drop that back knee. Sink into the hips, interlace the fingers behind you, opening up the chest and at the same time keeping the hips low. Remembering that deep belly breath here, keep breathing through the nose, keep opening up through the chest. Drop the hands either side of the front foot, untuck the toes, send yourself into a plank, float through chaturanga, inhale to upward facing dog, exhale roll over the toes, downward facing dog. We're going to come into three-legged dog and wild thing. So just paddling out the feet here and then taking the weight onto the right foot. We're going to reach up the left leg, bend the left knee and start to open up the left hip. Keeping the hands where they are, keeping the shoulders where they are, but gazing underneath the right armpit. And then we're going to step back into a wild thing. 
So stepping the left foot back and opening up the left arm and at the same time coming onto the heel of that right foot. We're going to take a little flow here. So we're going to sink the hips down and then reach the hips up, reach up the arm. So sinking the hips and at the same time sinking that arm. Inhale, reach up. We've got three more. Exhale, drop the hips, drop the arm. Inhale, reach up the hips, stretch that arm. Two more in your own breath. Last one. Come back into that wild thing. Place that left hand back on the mat. We're going to switch straight away to the other side. So take the weight onto the left foot. Reach up the right leg. Bend that right knee and start to open up the right hip. Looking underneath the left armpit. Keep breathing in through the nose. And then step back into wild thing on the other side. So right foot steps back, left leg is long, coming onto the heel of that left foot if you can. Reach up the right arm and send the hips up high. We'll start to flow here, so sink the hips. Reach up the hips, reach back up that arm. And again, sink the hips down. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, sink down, using that right foot for support, keeping that left hand on the mat. Keep moving, exhale, inhale. Exhale, drop the hands back down. Bring yourself back into three-legged dog, right leg high. Step both feet back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. And then roll into a plank. Fold through Chaturanga, inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, back into downward facing dog. Come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep yourself all the way up. Press the palms through heart center. Arms by your side, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, back straight, neck long. Exhale, plant the hands and jump back into plank. Fold through a chaturanga and then just release all the way down on the mat. We're going to come into a little back series here. So keeping the hands underneath the shoulders and then interlace the fingers behind. We're going to do that beautiful stretch again. So we're going to press the backs of the hands away, lift up the arms and then start to lift up the chest. If you can, keep the feet connected to the mat. Lifting up through the chest, looking after the neck. There should be no pressure or tension in the neck. Keep breathing through the nose. And then exhale, set yourself down. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, start to peel yourself off the mat, pressing the hands away from you. Keep breathing in through the belly, maybe lifting up a little bit higher. And then exhale, send yourself back down. We've got one more. And this time we're going to lift off the feet and the chest. So inhale, start to lift off the chest, lift off the feet. Remember to breathe in through the nose only. Keep reaching, keep lifting. And then bring yourself back down onto the mat. Release the hands either side of the body and take the right ear to the mat. Just allow the lower back to release. And then taking the forearms to the mat. Pressing the hands into the mat and taking the elbows out slightly away from you. Take the feet out to about the width of the mat, turning the toes out and come into seal pose. Maybe you stay, stay here with the hands on the mat or you can start to straighten up the arms and maybe take the hands a little bit closer to the body. Just really look after the lower back here. If everything feels good in the back, you can start to lift up the chest. As always, keep the breath in the belly. Breathing through the nose only. And then release yourself down on the mat. Coming up onto the fingertips now, we're going to start to flow. So pressing the tops of the feet in the mat, start to lift off the chest, gently pressing into the fingertips, coming back into that pose. And then exhale, fold back down onto the mat. Inhale, lift up, look up, exhale, fold back down. So we're keeping the feet on the mat, little to no weight in the hands. Inhale, look up, exhale. If it doesn't feel good on your back, you can come back into that first variation. Otherwise, keep moving. Inhale. Exhale, fold down. And again, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Release yourself onto the mat. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and press back into a child's pose. 
Touching the knees together, bringing the tops of the hands onto the mat, forehead on the mat, and then we'll come into rabbit by taking hold of the feet and just rolling up onto the top of the head. Should be a really nice release for the lower back. Just send the sit bones up if you can. And just feel that lovely release as you relax back down and come into seated. We're going to come into camel pose now, which is a very intense pose. So just really look after your back and just go to your limit. Inhale, sweep up the arms. And then exhale, we're going to take the hands to the lower back, fingers pointing down. Start to open the chest and look up towards the sky. This might be where you stay and that's perfectly fine. If you are quite flexible in the back and you want to go a little bit further, start to take your hands to the tops of the feet and then relax the neck down. So again, just be really mindful in this pose. It's a very deep back bend. So just look after yourself. And if you do need to come out, do so gently and carefully. Otherwise, keep the breath in the belly. And then gently and slowly start to bring yourself out, taking your hands to the lower back, sitting yourself up, sweeping up the arms, interlace the fingers, index finger long, and then send yourself forwards, coming into a little counter stretch. So it's just like a variation of an extended child's pose, just a way to release out that lower spine. Release the hands onto the mat and slowly bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Take the legs out in front, flex the toes, and then reach the arms forward and vertebrae by vertebrae, bring yourself to lying on your back. Once you get there, reach the arms up overhead. Take a big stretch. We're coming to the end of the class now. So just starting to wind down. Maybe closing the eyes. Bring your arms either side of your body and then take your feet to the mat, drawing the heels close to the sit bones. We're going to come into bridge pose. So lift up the hips and then interlace the fingers behind the back and start to come up onto the tops of the shoulders, lifting the hips up high and gently tucking the chin to the chest. Keep the breath in the belly. There should be no tension in the lower back here. Keep breathing in through the nose. And then release the hands, press the hands on the mat and slowly bring the back down onto the mat. Windshield wiper the knees from side to side, keeping the feet on the mat. And then bring the knees back to the center, press the hands into the mat and we'll lift up again into bridge. Again, interlace the fingers, come high up onto the shoulders, lift up the hips and take a gentle tuck of the chin to the chest. Fill up the belly as you inhale and empty completely as you exhale. As you next exhale, start to release the hips, release the hands, press the hands back down on the mat, and then windshield wiper the knees from side to side, releasing out the lower back. Keeping the eyes closed, really bringing the focus inwards, and then release the legs down onto the mat. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug and take the forehead to the knees curling up into a ball. Rock the lower spine from side to side and then we're going to come to Sutta Baddha Konasana to finish the class, pressing the soles of the feet together but we're going to come high up onto the shoulders, keeping the arms either side of the body so the chest is lifted. If this doesn't feel good, just come into a regular Sutta Baddha Konasana. Otherwise, we'll stay here for a few deep belly breaths. Keep the breath in the belly, flowing through the nose only. Just take this time to recall the intention you made at the beginning of the practice. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Release the shoulders from underneath you. And just thank yourself for practicing today. Thank yourself for taking the time out to look after your body, and look after your mind. Release the legs long, take the arms either side of the body, and we'll stay here in our final Shavasana. Stay here as long as you need. As always, I'll be leaving you here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.